wish we could hear music in the background. Can we not? No, it's I copyright can. issues. Oh, it's okay. copyright free, yeah. like Stannis music. Mm -hmm. Oh, Steffi. Okay, we're live. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Steffi says hi. Lindsay says hi. Michelle says hi. Hi, Mike says hi. <laughs> Maybe I should have one of my like, the computers. Yes, yeah, again. Perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hi, ladies. We're going to hang out this morning. I'm going to show you how to put together, how I put together my face in the morning. Um, this is how I do it. I'm not like a professional by any means, <laughs> disclaimer, but this is just like how I've kind of figured out my own little routine here in the in the summer so yeah so far i'm excited all right do you want to show them like the Let's products see. we'll be using first totally okay so i know we had a lot of questions about my lips in the live yesterday so i made sure to include the nude lip from yesterday hi carrie um so i guess like the first thing that i use is going to be like a good foundation ladies so this is probably like the one thing that I spend the most money on. So I use the Lancome foundation. It's like the only one that they have, but I think it's like somewhere around like $50. Um, I splurge on it and I'm color like 360 Biz N. So you can go into Ulta or, I don't think Sephora sells this one, go into Ulta and they can color match you or even they sell this one at Macy's. Ooh, I didn't know that they can color match you. Yeah, they can color match you. And actually ladies, if you take it home and you don't like Thank you, Christy. And you don't like the color that they color match you. They're really good. You can take it back and be like, hey, I didn't like the way that this looked on my face. And then they will swap it out. Such a good foundation, right, Melissa? Like, honestly, I've tried a bunch of different foundations. That's the one that I go with. But um, also, since we've had this quarantine, like I've been trying to figure out a color that I match with my, with my tan a little bit better. So instead of spending a lot of money on ones that I, like, I don't know. Hi, Janelle. <laughs> um, so when I do my tan, I go for a foundation that's a little bit more cost effective. I think this one's literally $12. Um, it's a brand that Ulta carries. It's called Revolution Makeup. And I use this one when I go a little bit tan. So that one is just like a cheap hack. If you don't plan on staying tan a lot, they can't color match their shut. That's true. I know, Brittany, it stinks that they can't like color match you now. But I bet if you ordered something during quarantine and you sent it back and said you didn't like it, I'm confident that they would give it back to you. So I'm going to be using a foundation. A lot of the other products that I use, I'm a pretty big Anastasia girl. So I use Anastasia um, highlighter. I use Anastasia brow Wiz for my eyebrows. This one's pretty much out. So you're going to have to ignore those guys pretty much today because <laughs> we're going to just let them do what they want to do. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lorena. Um, okay. And then the next biggest thing I would say, like if there's two things you grab from this whole little video that we're hanging out, it'd be this Lancome foundation and then Tarte shape tape. These are like the two things I swear by. I've used them for a long, long time. See, Pam says that the revolution's good too. It's awesome. Um, and the Tarte shape tape I'm using is going to be color light medium today. You always want to go a bit lighter with your uh, concealer than you do with your foundation. The other thing that I use a lot of is going to be a uh, bronzer from Young Living Essential Oils. I've had this one forever. It's called Color Summer Loved. If you know anybody who sells Young Living, I sold it through college. Um, you did? Yeah, I actually okay. still do right now. So if you ever need essential oils, you know, I got gotcha. you. But I love this one because it's non-toxic and I actually use the foundation for this one in the summertime when I get a little tanner too. So Anastasia, love it, love it. You guys know all these brands already, like the Shape Tape, the Lancome, everything. Uh, and then I do use a lot of drugstore stuff. I toss it in there, the found, or when I don't have Young Living, like right now because everything's taking longer to ship, I use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise from just like a classic, thank you, Stephanie. Um, I use the classic, just voluminous L'Oreal um, pink mascara from any drugstore you can get it. I think I have the color Mystic Black on right now. Usually I get black is black, but they were out, so um, you can color match at home. That's awesome, Heather. I see um, what size shirt am I wearing? This one is a size small right now, ladies. I would say this one is definitely a true size fit. I love it because it says, sorry, I'm late. I didn't want to come in, so I figured it'd be a good one to wear today if I'm just doing my, my makeup. Lash Paradise. Yes, definitely, Jess. I would agree. I have used the Better Than Sex uh, mascara, and I really, really love it, but it is $30, so when I don't want to spend that much money on a found or a mascara, I go with that one. So another good thing I've been loving lately is, like, uh, I use Too Faced eyeshadow um, and Too Faced lip injection. This stuff works, guys. I promise. Like, I did a before and after with my sister, and we were convinced. Kind of makes your lips all, like, buzzy for a little bit, but it's awesome. Um... And then another eyeshadow palette that I like to mix in is Morphe. Morphe is a great makeup brand just for like eyeshadow and for, I think I use it um, translucent powder to like set my makeup. So this headband also from Ulta. So really good find. You can wash it in the washing machine. Love it. It was like $4. Definitely a good buy. 
Um, but Morphe's great, it's cheap as well, kind of like Revolution, but it does the job. I use their stuff to set my makeup. So without further ado, I think we should be going. Okay, so this is the best hack that I found for makeup lately. Um, yes, love Morphe too. So first things first, ladies, I just like put regular lotion on my face. So if you have lotion at home, go ahead and just put it on your face. I feel like my parents always said, you know, like lotion's the most important thing. Um, you want to make sure you give your skin a drink of water. So I go ahead and just put lotion on. Then the next thing I do, like as the lotion's kind of drying, I take my Morphe translucent powder and then I just go ahead and I set the moisture in with this. I actually saw this on TikTok, so. <laughs> Classic. Classic. <laughs> um, saw this on TikTok, so I just kind of set the lotion around my face because I feel like um, it just keeps a little bit of moisture in there longer. And like this whole beginning stage just helps my makeup stay on a lot longer during the day. Okay, so I do that. And then the next thing I do is a prep and matte. It's the Lancome, um, what is this? A primer, a Lancome primer. So I think this one's pretty reasonable. I've had it for like three months and it's still pretty dang full. Like you don't need to use a lot of it. Oh my gosh, I love Jeffree Star too. Do you have the pink one that smells like strawberries? I haven't gotten that one yet, Lisa, but I've been trying to convince myself to go for it. What type of lotion Christina wants to know? Oh, the lotion I put on today. So um, I usually just use some variation, honestly, of a Vanna Cream lotion. I really like this one, it's scent free. And I feel like this one definitely moisturizes your face um, a lot better than some other kinds that I've done. So I just kind of stick with that. And I like the smell of like my makeup products more than like a lotion. So <laughs> that's just me. Um, so after I put the primer on, then I go ahead and I take my foundation here. So I use a Beauty Blender. I use the Morphe brand one because it's only $8 and Beauty Blender is a little bit more expensive. Banner Cream Rocks. Um, so I use this one. I replace it probably like every, I'm kind of weird about it. I'll replace it like every three weeks because like I'm just weird about germs and whatever. But this one's a great um, makeup thing. It's like a good dupe for a Beauty Blender. Okay, so then I just take my long comb. I pump like maybe... Uh, start with like four pumps just on the tip of my beauty blender and I'm just gonna go in and dab it all over my face because uh, honestly I feel like people think that foundation does the most coverage but I would say that I feel uh, the most coverage comes from my concealer Christine thank you my mom has always been like a huge advocate of like taking care of your skin and I didn't take that super seriously until recently um, I've been using Revision skincare products to like wash my face and I feel like it's made a really big difference there. Never used like a medical grade skincare thing until, until um, recently and I feel like it's done a really nice job. Also when you're putting on your foundation, you're gonna wanna make sure to get like your neck, blend it into your neck because nobody wants to have a line show for your neck. Um, it happens to me all the time. It, like I'll it'll, like melt down my face and I'm like, oh, <laughs> but, yeah, I forgot that this summer. Okay, so go ahead and get that on there. I feel like I've got pretty good coverage going on there. You can see with that. And then I'm gonna go in next with my Tarte Shape Tape. You guys are so kind. Oh my gosh, like, thank you so much. <laughs> like, filling up my bucket here with some good positivity this morning, <laughs> quarantine. So then I take my shark, my <laughs> shark. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. I didn't mean that, ladies, I promise. That just tart, cool. Hot tart <laughs> shape tape. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in, I put it underneath my eyes. Okay, and then I go ahead on the sides of my nose because I feel like I have some like darkening there. Um, Brooke, I'm 22, so Kay, I'm gonna work on it. I think I'm gonna make like a page of the products that I was telling Michaela, so maybe she can get that out to you guys. Mm -hmm put it on any like blemishes that I have or like around my chin like this is where I get the most coverage I would say um go ahead and put it up here usually when my eyebrows look a little bit more bougie this helps me out I even use this one as like an eyeshadow primer so I do like a dab here and a dab here okay <laughs> perfect so then I'm just gonna go in with um what color of the shape tape I use color 29N light medium. So it's important to go lighter with your concealer because you want to make sure that it's brightening the spots. Usually you put it in spots that are like a little bit darker um, and you wanna make them brighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in like this, blend it in. People are asking where you got your headband. Is it Ultra or Ulta? 
Ulta. Headband from Ulta. Ultra. I mean, it might as well be. I feel like I'm in there too many times. <laughs> I see Ultra. I used to be a big Sephora girl, and then Ulta started getting like all these exclusive things, and I tried them, and I was like, ah, I can't swap now. <laughs> like, so then you go in. Just really, just be careful around your eyeballs too, because that's really sensitive skin. And I've heard from people that if you're a little aggressive around your eyes, then you're gonna give yourself more wrinkles. So I just try and be really gentle. Like I said, I use this to prime my eyes as well. So I just go ahead and put it on my eyelid as well. And it helps keep my foundation. If I'm gonna go like really bougie ladies, you can even, it's called cutting out your eye, eyebrows with, um, yes, you guys all love Ulta, Ulta all the way. I love it. Um, it's called like cutting out your eyebrows with concealer. So like my sister's gonna actually do my eyebrows for me this afternoon. She's really good at it. Ooh. So once she does that, then I would go in with even more shape tape and I would just like edge my eyebrows a little bit so they would look a little bit um, more put together. And that would be that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I look like with the good old shape tape and the foundation on. It gives good coverage. You can see like that, so. I feel like it offers really good coverage. And then the next step is literally the most important like game changer step. My sister was like, Sarah, you don't set your makeup? And I was like, no, like I don't, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> like, I was like, what? And so then I just go in with that Morphe translucent powder and I just dab it all over my face. And this is what setting your makeup looks like. Let's go like this. There you go. Sometimes it looks a little powdery, but it usually just kind of works its way. Gives it like a nice matte finish as well. Okay, get that on there. Good to go. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I take my bronzer from Young Living. So like I said, this is the non-toxic kind of makeup. I mix in a little bit. It's like the best bronzer that I've used. I've tried drugstore ones, but this one just lasts the best. And so I'm a little bit low on my supply here, but this is the color Summer Love. I usually just, it's a powder-based bronzer. So you just like put it in the cap here. And then Young Living sells this misting spray too. So I spray the brush with that and it like liquefies the bronzer in here. Then you're just gonna, I put it on my cheekbones. Just kinda, you start high and I work low in like a swooping motion. And I tend to go probably a little bit more heavier on my bronzer just cause I like to have really defined cheekbones given there. Okay, and then I also put bronzer on just a little bit like on the bridge of my nose because I feel like that's a really good spot to contour. If you're gonna go in, you're gonna contour a little bit. So do that. Susie, I'm working on that. That's a project for sure. Um, a list of the products. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you can use honestly any bronzer for like something like this. I like to go in there. And then the last place I put bronzer is under here because I like to define that part of my face as well. <laughs> Understand the language. Okay, it's honestly, <laughs> yeah, the bronzer that Laura used the other night would totally work for this. Absolutely. Um, it does not have to be the way I hold my brush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you guys always notice things and like, wow, <laughs> I have these little tendencies. So, okay, so I just put the bronzer on like that. Um, normally, if I was at this spot in my routine, I would go in and I would do some eyebrow action. And I use, it's called the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I use it in the color chocolate. This thing rocks, <laughs> Rena. I'm glad I can give you a laugh, okay. So it has a spoolie on one end of it, which is awesome because you can just, you know, give them a little bit of a brush brush, like brushing your hair, get up in there. Um, I wonder if I have like a tiny baby bit left. All right, we're gonna try it. And then usually if I were to just fill in my eyebrows, I would fill in, I have like this one spot on my eyebrow. What brushes do I recommend? Rena, you get it. Okay, Becky loves that bronzer, that's awesome. Brushes that I recommend, I would honestly say Morphe brushes are really awesome. Oh, Becky, thank you. Morphe brushes are awesome because they're cheap and you get a lot of kinds of brushes, I would say. Um, Michaela, when is your turn? When is it your turn to? Did you mind, did they uh -huh. ask that? They did. I yeah. don't really wear makeup, girls. 
I put on a foundation in the morning that's probably too dark for my skin, so it doesn't match. <laughs> and then I put on mascara, and then I leave. Maybe I should do my Kayla's mango, guys. You should. I thought I was a different person. It'd be super fun. What do you think? All right, Morphe's way to go. Perfect. So I'm just kind of like using up everything that this little guy can give me for my eyebrows. Usually I would go in and I would probably, I have dark eyebrows naturally. Um, it's weird. Like both my, me and my sister have really blonde hair, but we have like the darkest eyebrows. I actually had black hair once in my life just because I was, yeah, I have black hair because I was so self-conscious about like how my eyebrows looked in comparison to my, to my blonde hair. And so What's your natural? my natural hair is like this darker blonde on top. So how is the VC? Yes, do Michaela's. Awesome. Okay, great. But let's see. Oh, thank you for the smoke. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of that today. I'm going a little bit slower. Typically, this takes me probably about 20 minutes, I would say. Um, okay, but I would normally go in with darker eyebrows because I just like to make them a little bit more um, cut and great. The Morphe concealer. Huh, Carrie, I'm going to have to give that a go. All right, then at this point, I would go in and I always start with a white. So the the palette that I start with is the Too Faced Natural Matte one. I've had this one probably way too long. <laughs> oh, Ashley, thank you. I used to get bullied for eyebrows, honestly. People would be like, you have a unibrow, like they're so dark. Dude, mine are so dark too. I was just like, I, you know, like it's just, well, yeah. It's just yeah. how I am. It is, love me, how I am. <laughs> so this Too Faced one, I'm gonna go in. The colors is gonna be color heaven. Oh gosh, this palette needs to like help. But it's like the lightest one, it's like the whitest color. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, just take a brush in there, and I just go in with the white one all the way around my eye, because I think this is the biggest thing with eye makeup that my sister told me is like you can you can have too much pigment on. Like it's um, the Pure Heaven products. I'm gonna have to try those. Um, barely any eyebrows. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I can. Lindsay, my mom used to say. <laughs> Oh, Sarah. <laughs> but Lynn, my mom used to be like, yeah, I would go get my eyebrows done. And they'd be like, Christy, you could not have plucked any more eyebrows. <laughs> like, so funny. Like, the barely any eyebrows, I bet. So I just went in here with a little bit of this bright, the like lightest color in this Too Faced palette. Um, go in, make it really light there. And then it's all about layering. So that's what I was getting at. So if you have too much, um, too much on, then you're gonna, it's not going to blend as well. So I layer another one. I have this Morphe palette. This one's like newer. It's just got, you know, makeup. Oh, girl. Lots of options here. So then I'm going to go in. The lightest color in this one was used up. So that's why I had to use my Too Faced one. But then I'm going to go in with like the second lightest color. It's more of a beige. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that one mostly in the crease of my eye, I would say. Because building the crease is the hardest part of the smoky eye, I would say. So I just quick go in with a little bit on the crease there. Next color I'm gonna use is in this same palette. You can really tell which ones that I use, can't you ladies? Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with this brown color. It's like a light brown. It's a really nice one, easy on the layering. So this is where you'll really kind of start to see this one develop. So I put it on my brush. I give it a couple taps just to get the pigment on here. This is cool to have skinny eyebrows. <laughs> I love that. Mandy, you love this palette, it's good to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in on this one. I focused this one probably on the outside of my eye a little bit, and like every couple strokes, I'll bring it around the crease. And then you can see it gets darker up in there. Feel on this side, get up in there. And as you can see, like there's a lot of pigment on my eyeballs right now. So that's how it starts out. It's gotta get ugly before it gets pretty. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. <laughs> Okay, nice to see you. Um, welcome to our crazy group. Philly Flair is awesome. I have the best job ever. Okay, and then I go in with that same brush that I used the light one on and I just circle it out so I can blend it. There. Give it some blending love because you don't want to see eyeshadow lines, ladies. Okay, so then for my foundation that I use, I'll make a product list for sure. What colors are good for brown eyes, Melissa? Okay, so I have green eyes and I go for purples and I go for browns, but for um, brown eyes, I think purple would look really nice next to them too. Um, what did I hear someone say? The pinks look really nice on brown eyes. So if you get like a palette with a variety of pinks, I think those look really, really nice with brown eyes. Um, but Amber is long come foundation that I'm putting on. And so then we were talking about the colors here. I'm, I tend to, go, I have a little bit of a purple that I put on today for the that I put powder on top of my face. I did. I use the Morphe translucent powder. I think it's like $8. 
Okay, um, then this is the purple I'm gonna go in with next. We're gonna just layer this crease, continue doing that, building it up here. This one's like the risque color, so I keep this one in the back part of my crease. And I like to layer it. If you put the colors a little bit closer to the bottom of your eye, I think it really makes them pop too. Okay, get that up in there. Brown eyes, pinks and grays. Yeah, it totally shimmers, for sure. I love all these product recommendations, you guys. My uh, <laughs> my sister and I, like how we learn about different things that we like, we call it like dumb things, the Westermans try. So we, we just go to like Ulta, we're like, oh, we heard someone liked that, let's see if we do, and so we do. So then you can see how I have a lot of pigment on there. I just take that same brush and I work it out, we work it out. Get it nice and blended up in there. But I would say there's like, if you focus on like there is, the face wash brand that I use, Tara, is Revision Skincare. They sell products online. The only place you should get them is like um, a local like skin place. We have one called Artisan in Sioux Falls that I get it for. Um, but really good. I've never believed like all the hype of using like a medical grade skincare. And then I started using this and trust me, it's like a night and day difference. Like, it's, um, okay. So I got that on there and then I'm gonna go back to my Too Faced palette. And then, very sad. Oh, pinks and oranges look so good. Oh yeah, orange. I love orange, you guys. You see that in my video. Then there's one, it's called Sexpresso in here. <laughs> Talk about spicy, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna go in. This is just a dark brown. So any dark brown I feel like would work. I just like to have my, my smoky eye a little bit darker. And so I like to add a little bit of brown on top of that purple like this. Get it up in there. Awesome. I think technically you're supposed to probably do your eyes before you do your foundation. <laughs> but I did not do that today. Who said that? Mm, makeup people. <laughs> <laughs> Pigment, pinks and grays, totally. Pure heaven. Got it. Medical grades. Get, yeah, Lauren knows. Good for acne. Yeah, definitely. Um, my sister went on Accutane actually when oh, she was in high school and then she's been using this revision skincare after and it has been really good for that and there's like different levels of it too so like if you're pregnant as well you can um get like a different kind that's a little bit more gentle okay so i'm gonna go in and just kind of like brush off that pigment there um and basically i just blend it from there like however much i want it blended for the day the part that really transforms your eyeballs though is i take a highlighter so i have the anastasia um <laughs> Can you win a makeover? Ooh, it's a good idea. Um, so Anastasia, I take their highlighter palette. I've had this for like ever. I probably just need to get a new one. Um, so then I go in and I take just another brush here with the lightest highlighter one. And I go in and I, I put it right above. So this just kind of connects. Honestly, like when my eyebrows are better, this works so much better. Okay, but you go in and you connect the, the pigment on the eye. And it makes it a little bit sparkly on top which i'm sure i feel like that's what you guys see when i'm in front of that big ring light this is what catches the the pigment the most i would say blend it out blend it out but i think that's like the best like little hack that i found for making this like pop the most so that's kind of what i do for the smoky eye yes terry especially when you're doing smoky eyes <laughs> Yes. Okay, so I definitely should have done that, but you know, you just figure out what works for you guys. And the eyeshadow that I was using, I was using the Mor a Morphe eyeshadow palette. Um, let's see. This is the bronze mocha palette. So I feel like this one has a lot of good browns in it and a lot of good lights. If this one wasn't out of the lighter color, I would have not used this one as well. I do use eyeliner. That's what I'm going to go in with next. I used to use Okay, let's see. What blending brushes do I use? So, uh, gosh, these ones are honestly so old. But I do use the Morphe blending brushes, and then, because their Morphe has um, wiped off of them, but I there's a couple good ones from MAC Cosmetics, too, and I think Ulta has MAC as well. So if you go in to MAC or Ulta and be like, I need a good blending brush, that's kind of what I just do. Like, I switch them out, and I make sure. I, like, swap my brushes or clean them pretty often. So I'm um, just asking what the, like, the latest new blending one is and it usually works pretty dang good. 
Um, but like I said, Morphe brushes are my go-to. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna have to stand up and like get close to the mirror because eyeliner is tricky. Um, but this one is gonna be an eyeliner from NYX. So it's um, their water, or it's their, oh, this one's waterproof, that's cool. So this one's the, <laughs> okay, so this one is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. So I think this one is a really good dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner. I used to buy that one all the time and use that one religiously and I really like to use it in brown but then NYX came out with this black epic ink one and I tried it. The cream powder eyeshadow? Have not. What brand is that? Ali. Ali. What brand is that? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. I just do a one simple line. I usually do like a little bit of a wing. And I can show you how I do that once I do the first one here. Okay. Okay. Sorry, you guys, this is painstaking, these eyeliner issues. So I just do like a one line on the top, um, keep it pretty dang simple. Sorry, Terry, I'm back. So I was just um, in the mirror a little bit closer doing my eyeliner, but if I do do, um, do like an eye and I put that on. So I can just show you like one eye right now if you want. And then if you guys are tuning in for the lipstick, I can do that as well. But before I move on to that, let's go ahead. I use NARS and it's the orgasm blush. Best blush ever. Like I have not found one that compares to this honestly at all. So I just go in and I put a little bit on top of my cheekbones. Okay. Thanks you guys. It really hyped me up. I was actually kind of scared to do this. Honestly, I was getting up this morning. I'm like, ah. Because <laughs> I feel like everybody has like their own makeup routines and you just kind of like figure out what works for you. But like if, oh, thank you, Tani. So awesome. Um, put that on there. Then I'm going to go ahead and just finish up. I like to, heard that one is a favorite. That's awesome. Love that brush. That blush is awesome. Like honestly, at my Sephora and Sioux Falls, it's sold out a lot. So then I'm gonna go in with like the darker highlighter and sometimes I just like to do a little bit of a sweep through here. Add a little bit more contour back there. Especially in the summer because I like it when the sun. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Terry. Uh, okay, and then I take the- Mary? Mary Nelson. Mary Nelson, I'm giving a shout out to you. My girl Michaela says you're her aunt. I bet you're the best. <laughs> Um, awesome. Thank you guys so much for the encouragement. Ah, oh, I love it. Ooh, ColourPop. I would love to see it. ColourPop. Oh, is it the coconut bronzer? I've tried that one. It smells like coconuts. It's awesome. Eyeshadow, Chris. I go for Morphe or I'm a big Too Faced girl. I like the Too Faced eyeshadow. Or if you can spend a little bit more money on eyeshadow, I used MAC a lot when I lived with my mom and she would pay that for me. So, <laughs> um, okay, so then I go in with like the brighter one too and just like do a couple of swipes up here because I think a really nice sparkle up top looks nice. Um, yes, there is no right way. My mom says there's no mistakes in art until she sees our eyebrows and they're too dark and she tells us. <laughs> okay, so then I, that's basically what I do for my face here. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how I put my mascara on. So something I learned also when doing mascara is an eyelash curler so I just have like a cheap um, eyelash curler from Target um, but you go in and you you um, what is it so you squeeze squeeze and then hold so it's like a three-part way to do that regularly yeah I would say I use this one this is the bronze mocha palette the most regularly for sure um, if you're gonna go for one and it's 20 bucks all those colors in there like that's pretty reasonable. I think it's like maybe $19.99 if you even buy it in a state um, outside of here. So I'm going to go ahead and curl this one. So I go um, squeeze, squeeze, and then squeeze. Hold it. Does that thing actually work? Uh-huh. I think for putting on mascara, it definitely works. Michaela's asking if this actually works. Um, so I think so because it curls your eyelashes up just a little bit. And sometimes I like to wear fake eyelashes, and I'll show you the ones that I wear when I do. Um, but I've been putting them on more regularly since we're in quarantine and I have time. But <laughs> <laughs> those are their own battle. So I think it just helps like when you put on your mascara, it just kind of like lifts your eyelashes a little bit. And so then I just go in, blink a little bit here. I'll show you guys what one eye with mascara looks like compared to the other one. I think that would be helpful. Go in. 
I'm so far from the mirror. There's no pretty face to put on mascara, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> Allison agrees with the eyelash curler. See, I'm not alone. I've tried it before, I would have done it wrong. Though. You should try the triple pump because I had someone do my makeup and she was like, this is how you have to do um, to it. I was like, all right, thanks. I'll give it a go. And I think when I put falsies on too, like if I eyelash curl them, they like mesh a little bit better. Like they're not like sticking out one way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go ahead. Oh, I was going to put it on that one. This is like such a habit, you guys. Okay. And I am taking a little bit more time to explain these to you. This definitely takes me probably 20 minutes in the morning. I've got it down to, which is nice. Um, you know, running around with class and stuff. But I love I love just like taking time to care for yourself too. Like I've my sisters and I always say that like our makeup time in the morning is like a really fun, a really good way to just like put on some, put on some makeup and like music and just like have you time and like think about your thoughts. Like some people read, but we like to put on makeup. Mascara I'm using it is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Voluminous. You can get this at Walgreens. I believe it's nine dollars. Benefits mascara I do like that one. It's like the little gray one I think. Um, Lorena, it's the one uh, I like that one because it gets the inner lashes really well. So and sometimes the wand works really well. Like this one's a little bit bigger wand, but it totally is up to your preference as well. I think someone else commented earlier that this one is like a dupe for Better Than Sex. Definitely agree on that. That's my favorite mascara for sure. Okay. Get, I like to do kind of a heavy lower lash too with the mascara, so I'll get in on that. <laughs> mascara face. What it is. And then I think it just depends on how dark you like your mascara to go. But I just kind of stick to that. My eyelashes are a little bit crazy right now because I did have false ones on um, yesterday. So that's what it looks like with and without mascara. Oh, Thrive. Interesting. Thrive Market. Huh. Who would have known? I got to give that a go. Um, so that's what it looks like when you have mascara um, versus no mascara on this eye versus this eye. Um, now I can go ahead and do my lips for you ladies. I know it's the part you all have been waiting for. So first thing, cannot close Becky's name. Okay, so then I, right now I'm going in with the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I feel like this just gives me a little bit more volume. Thank you, Brooke. I actually ran track in college. Um, I'm just gonna put this on quick. I just do like a light layer of it because sometimes it makes it tough to put my mascara face. Oh, you guys are so nice. <laughs> The brow pencil I like is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. Love them. I'm so sad mine ran out. And I can't just like run to Ulta. I have two more coming in the mail. Really great. I use the color chocolate. It's like just like light enough. It's like a light brown. Okay, so I let that lip injection usually work for a couple minutes. Um, it makes your lips tingle, which is kind of fun. <laughs> but for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the lips that I wear then. So this is kind of like my tried and true combo. I've used this for couple years now so if I want to have a more prominent line um it's a lip plumper yeah it is from Too Faced it's this guy it's on TikTok a lot um so that's where I found it I actually found it from my friend Brie Shepard too on Instagram she suggested it so I love that Kelly Baker brought oh that's awesome okay so then if I'm gonna do like something darker this is a pretty like reasonable lip combo I think only one of these is a little bit more spendy so the next one is like seven dollars it's called need me you can get this one at Ulta you can get it at um, drugstore it's just a drugstore liner so if I want to go a little bit more bold with my liner I go for this one my lips are tingling Woo! okay <laughs> Um, but the one I had on yesterday, I'm going to do that one just because you guys really loved it. This one, I use a Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil, um, and it's the color Wifey. Um, really, really good one here. Thank you, Connie. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and line your lips. I think one of the help most helpful things I've learned about lining your lips is if you want your lips to look a little bit more, like, voluminous, um, you overline the bottom, and then you overline the bow of your lips. So then um, when you go in and you put on the color, you have a little bit bigger lip look. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'll show you what I mean by overline once I get to that part. I do not have a boyfriend. I tried. <laughs> Michaela tried. <laughs> it's not a great time for um, setting updates though because of all this quarantine biz. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, hold on. I got to wipe that off. Usually I would let this set a little bit longer, so I'm going to just kind of swipe it off so you can see the color. 
I'm gonna go ahead. Here's the color of the liner on my hand. You can see it. It's kind of like a pinky brown. Okay. Also, um, a, a liner Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury is really awesome. The only reason I don't use that one a lot is because um, Ulta or Sephora hadn't had Charlotte Tilbury until recently. Just gonna and I say overline the bottom so I just go a little bit past my natural lip line oh Tara <laughs> thank you this one is Huda H-U-D-A beauty I think you can get this one at Sephora and Ulta I know both of those places have really good shipping right now too because of um the quarantine since I had to order that brow pencil <laughs> yes there you go Thanks guys, these girls have my back. All right, so as you can see, it's just like a really chill pink liner. Charlotte Tilbury is like my absolute favorite. I actually just ordered one of her new palettes. It has like, cause obviously I need some new palettes up in here. <laughs> and so um, I just ordered her new one and I can't wait to use that one um, too. And then her, obviously her lip contour, I got that in the mail too, since we just got that at Sephora here. Um, okay, so then the next thing I go in with is Anastasia. Shocker, I know. Pretty predictable these days. Okay, so it's called True Hollywood. It's a really good matte liner. I love the color of this one, and I love that this one stays on longer. I used to use NYX Baby Doll, which is like a drugstore version of this one. Um, it does the same color, but it honestly just doesn't last as long, so that's why I swapped it. So, um, Anastasia True Hollywood. <laughs> Lauren, I know, it's tough. Like, when you find, you're like, ah. But like makeup is like, I'm like, this is my me time. This is what I got to go for. The lip pencil is color wifey. And then I'm going to go in with True Hollywood. And this one is mattifying. And so I put something over top of it. Okay. Go in. Okay. It just takes a little bit. And this one's like a super true nude. So, and you can see it how I lined it with the wifey one. So it's a little bit more of a blended liner, but like if I was gonna make it darker, you can see it. I like to do an ombre lip sometimes. And so here's what the other next one looks like. So. You're pretty Kylie Jenner right now. Oh my gosh. Like no. her, her like... Let me just show you my bronzer. <laughs> Sheepers. Um, and then if I was gonna go um, makeup on days, you do videos, do you do more makeup? This is pretty much all I had on for yesterday's videos. So, Heidi, oh, you were so sweet. Uh, yeah, no, this is what I had on for yesterday's videos. Like the live that Michaela and I were in yesterday, this is what I had on. Um, I did have false eyelashes on though, so I can show you those. I probably won't put those on for you guys just because they're time consuming, but I can maybe do a follow up on that. Um, if I want it to not look matte, oh jeepers. <laughs> You win some, you lose some. I do an Enamored Shine by Marc Jacobs, or there's a Bobbi Brown one too that's really similar, and it gives me a little bit more um, hydration, I would say. And so this one is called Sugar Sugar. <laughs> Woo I love makeup names. Like, who pay, who names these? Like, <laughs> a fun name <laughs> And I just go in, and I usually just put it on my bottom lip, so it gives it like a little bit of a shine when I go like that. So, cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then I do that. When it's all pretty much said and done, um, I'm gonna show you. These are the lashes I use. They're by Kiss. They have, I like them because they have, it, you can't tell super a lot in this video, but they're like tapered, so they're a little bit longer on one side than the other one. I pop these on. Um, maybe I can write some instructions on how to put those on and like the thing that I do. But then, to lock it all in, I spray it with this Morphe spray. You just go like this. And honestly, the setting spray and the combination with the Morphe translucent powder, you guys, I've run track meets all day. I've sweat my butt off and my makeup still rocks at the end of the day. So definitely swear by it. I think it's a really good combination. The products that I used today are just ones that I have a long list of trying, ones that I don't love, um, just ones that I've come to use. And go ahead and take this down so you can see. I wonder how my hair is here. Okay. I could... Whoa. And you guys are usually see, you probably see the bronzer come out a little bit more when I stand in front of the ring light um, because it pops with a bunch of color. So you can see that there. Um, yeah, 
I'd say that's about it, ladies. I will try my best to get the products together. I'm so glad you guys are interested in this. You let me just share my way of getting ready. Um, and the fun thing about this nude color is it looks great with all of Philly Fair's clothes. Oh, so, girl. No matter what color you put on. Oh, they all want you to do a product list. Yeah, I'll work on that. Yeah, or we can even take a picture and put it like up on Facebook too. We could totally do that too. Yeah. Would you guys like pictures or like, yeah. A list. Let us know. Yeah. Thanks, Bonnie. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Also, I'm cute. Do you guys see this little kimono that I yeah, have? Yeah, I just pulled that up too. It's so cute. It ties in the front. I was obsessed with it. I was like, I gotta wear this one today. So. They're all saying thank you. Don't forget to finish your mascara. She's about to go do some videos. We're just gonna leave it like that. Yeah, and just that you guys would want it to be lopsided. Yeah. <laughs>